You want to beat them? Then guess what you have to do? You have to do exactly what I'm telling you to do. If you want to beat them, do exactly what I'm telling you to do. You understand? Well, it depends. Someone saying that stock will be a, a, a little too big. Well, it depends on what time frame. A one minute time frame, not so much. Because remember, all they need to do is manipulate you. That is their goal. They need to manipulate you. So whatever it takes to manipulate you, that is what they're willing to do. And that's it. It's as simple as that, guys. You want to beat them? Do what I'm telling you to do. And you'll see it for yourself. You'll see the results. You won't get caught up in fake arts anymore. Because the fake art is to manipulate you as a buyer. They want to change you from a buyer to a seller. Because remember, we're in an app trend, guys. Listen to this again. We're in an app trend. Everybody can see we're in an app trend. They, the market makers, can see that we're in an app trend. But they don't want you to be involved in that move that's about to take place, the big move. They don't want to see you there. So they need to get you from being a buyer to being a seller. How do they do that? They manipulate you. How do they manipulate you? They bring some type of price action into a consolidation. And then all of a sudden you see a consolidation and then you see, oh, oh shit. Right? What's happening? Price is starting to go lower. Oh shit. Okay, now they've made a high. Oh shit, now they've made a lower high. Oh shit, now they've even made a lower high. Liquidate, liquidate, liquidate. They've now got you selling the market. That was their goal. That was what they wanted. They wanted you to sell the market off. That's why they manipulated it. So they manipulated and then all of a sudden, price shoots up. What happens to your trade? You blow. You get taken out. That is what they wanted. That was the end goal. And that is a fake card. Liquidity sweep, whatever you want to call it. But that's, that, that, that is it. So how do you beat them at their own game? You get involved when they've taken that liquidity. You understand? When they think they've manipulated you, that's when you get involved. You with me? That's when you get involved. So what I'm talking about just happened. You understand? So, guys, we can see that we're in an uptrend. If we go back to a one hour time frame, we can see that we are in an uptrend. We can see that. You understand? We can see that. Right? Because if we look closely, right, what has happened? Price has made this high, this high, let's say this being the lowest point, that low, this high, say that low, and obviously then that high right so price is here i need to see price take out that low Or this high. Now, what I'm trying to tell you guys is that there is always a manipulation before the move takes place. So, here we can see now that there is going to be some kind of consolidation phase. So, guess what's happening here? Everybody's looking to get involved. Then what happens? Price comes down and price goes up. 
You see, so they had to manipulate you guys. They needed you to be from one point of buyers to the next point sellers. They needed you to sell off. Because remember now, here you are buying the market. You bought, right? Had they, had they went up, it was an obvious situation. Why? Because it's in an uptrend. We know that they are, they are in an uptrend, right? We know they are in an uptrend. So what happens now? Now price makes this high. And then price makes another high and you like, okay, it's time to start selling this market. It's time to start selling this market. They come in. The trend line trader is sitting over here because he's now getting his trend line. Let's say we've got a trend line from here, somewhere maybe over there. Guess what? He's getting in over here. That trend line trader is getting in over here. He gets that touch. You get involved over here. The trend line trader gets involved over here. Everybody gets involved. And then what happens? Price comes up. What happens to your trades? You blow. What happens to, you? What, what happens to your trades? They go into a negative. You with me, guys? Now, I'm not calling anybody out here. I'm not saying anybody's a trend line trader. What I'm saying is that this is what happens. So what do they do? They come and sweep everybody who was buying here. 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 So people were buying over here, but people were also selling because, oh my gosh, price didn't take out the high. They're going to take out the low. We know this. Price doesn't take out the high. They're going to take out the low. Fine. Right? And then all price is really doing is coming into some kind of order block or demand zone or whatever you want to call it, right? Or they might not even come into this level. But at the end of the day, they had to take these guys out, these guys out, these guys out, these guys out. They took everybody who was trying to get involved in the buy, but they had to manipulate you guys to get you in to the sales. They needed you to sell off because if you're buying and they're buying, then you're with them. But if they're selling, or at least they make it look like they're selling, you're going to sell. You with me? Make sense? So this is what we call a fake out. Because price still stays above this low. Price still stays above this low, which means we are still in a uptrend. Make sense?
So what I was trying to tell you guys was, hold on, let me just go back, just so you can see what I was talking about. So what I was gonna say was, get involved with them. So what you do is when they coming down, when they coming down, perhaps into some kind of insufficiency over here, or maybe, you know, this order block over here, whatever the case is, right? You want to get involved over here. Now, on this time frame, the stop is big. But on a lower time frame, which you probably would catch somewhere over here, it won't be so big. But I'm just going to make an example here. What do you do? You put your stop over here. Right? Now, those who are going to buy into the order block, as myself, would probably get that sniper entry as we get involved. But those who don't can get involved over here. And then all of a sudden, price shoots up. There won't be any drawback. You're getting involved over here. Let's try go to a lower time frame, just so I can quickly demonstrate what I'm trying to show here. Um, so let's say we go to a five minute time frame. Let's just see what's happening here. Same thing's happening. Look at that. Same thing's happening. Some, something's about to take place. So same thing's happening. Or rather, it's already happened. So we were in an uptrend. Price was in an uptrend, right? We had this high, you can say this low, this high, this low, right? But on a, small, on a smaller scale, right, it's a bit choppy. But now all of a sudden, we have this high, low, High, low, high, but we see the price starting to decline, exactly what I told you before. Now, all of a sudden, they've got you caught in a sell. They want you to start to sell off the market. Why? Because if price doesn't take out the high, we'll then take out the low. What happens? Price takes out the low. We liquidate all these people over here. We come into that insufficiency and then watch what price does. Price will come to about here and price will then take off. What are we going to go try to test? Probably test some new high over here. Or maybe just test the high over here because remember there's orders sitting over here. There's a lot of orders sitting over here. Orders have have been taken over here. That's why price went up, but there's orders sitting over here. Price takes those orders, and then we then see price starting to go perhaps lower or higher. But what are you doing? You getting involved? If you got involved and you put your stop over here, it's a five-minute time frame and you got involved in the middle. Roughly somewhere over here, price goes up. And let's say price comes down to about here. It's not such a crazy thing because your stops over here, so you're good. And then price goes up. So this is just a fake out. A fake out basically means that they need to get you as a buyer because we all know it's an uptrend. So everybody's going to be buying this market. You with me? Everybody's going to be buying this market. Everybody's looking to buy this market. It's clear as day that it's an uptrend. 
So everybody's going to be buying this market. So what do they need to do? They need to manipulate you from being a buyer to being a seller. How do they do that? They start changing the price action. Same thing happened over here. So obviously, they were in this consolidation phase, right? They had this liquidity sitting above here. They took it. They left this. And then what happens is price comes down to grab it. So here, Ah, uh, sorry guys, had load shedding. But, yeah, we're back. So it's cool, no stress. All right, so I just wanna quickly show you what I'm talking about. So here, you can see what happened. So. Here's a small consolidation, just, just to kind of like give you an idea of what I'm talking about here. So let's just quickly zoom in a bit here. There we go. All right, so here you can see we had this consolidation, right? Oh, let's just open it up a bit. So here we can see, you know, you've got this consolidation, price goes up, and then we've got obviously this consolidation as no, price comes down. And then what happens? Price goes back up, right? So that's another example to just show you that there was a fake out and then price went back up. You with me? So there was this fake out, right? Because they couldn't have you go up with them. So what do they do? They just kind of like generate all this liquidity sitting at the bottom over here, liquidity sitting at the top over here, price goes up, takes that out, leaves this. Um, right. We now leave this. And then what happens? Price goes up and uh, we take them out. Now what's happening? Boom. Happens all the time, guys. All the time. And then what happens? You'll see price starting to consolidate and price will start making its way back up. All right, guys, so you want to beat them in their own game. It's simple, right? It's, a sim it's simple. Let them take, let them do their little stop hunt, and you get involved when it's over. How do you know when it's over? It's simple. How do we know when it's over? Let them take their first high. 
right? So price comes down, price comes up, let them take this high. Let's say they, they let's say price stops over here, price starts to go up. Let them break, body break that high, right? When they come back in, right? They might sweep here, they might sweep here, right? But they will never take that low. You with me? In most cases, right? In most cases, what you want to do is get involved when they come back down. Right? Because you probably find out that all they're really coming to do was just, you know, take out all these guys over here, but also just kind of like fill in this imbalance sitting at this level over here. And then obviously continue their way up. Um, and uh, like I said, the way you want to get involved is you've got your stop over here. You've got your stop over here. You're getting involved when price is at that mi in the middle of the consolidation phase, right? roughly somewhere over here. And you can then buy somewhere over here because they will never come back down to this level because they've already given you a change of character. All right. Well, price, you see, as long as, as long as we can only say price will buy if, if, it, doesn't, if it doesn't do something stupid like this. You know, they might, they, might, they might come lower here and then come lower here and then, and then come lower here. So, so no, I'm not saying that you can buy. What I'm saying is you can buy once price violates a high to show you a change in direction. Even if it's a minor change in direction, it's still a change in direction. You can buy. All right. Make sense, guys? I hope you guys have, have taught you something, something invaluable, something you can take with you. Go back test. Back testing is very impor in, ah, important. You know, you always want to back test. Um, but this is this is this is this is just the way it works. <laughs>